difficult, isn't it, if you're Meghan Markle? I mean, quite simply, as we've said before, you had it all. You were part of the world's most famous family, a dynasty, if you like, an historical dynasty. You had the world at your fingertips. Everybody was interested in you. Despite what you say, the media were incredibly welcoming over here in the United Kingdom with positive, glowing pieces that everybody can prove, but seemingly you decided that wasn't enough. But now, of course, Meghan's finding out the hard way that what she left behind may be, of course, the thing that she truly did crave in the first place. And this truly wouldn't be a first time, would it, for the former royal and cable TV actress known as Meghan Markle. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London, and as ever, nice to have your company. Can we also give a big wave and a shout out to the England cricket team who had one of their very big victories against India recently. Uh, a marvellous match and uh, you know strangely enough no mention in the mainstream media of their wonderful victory. Also you know congratulations to India for putting up a very good fight in <laughs> sort of cricket. Such an English game isn't it? I used to work many years ago you know in a wonderful hotel in Hertfordshire and it was great because it actually had a cricket green on the back of the you know where the bar and restaurant was and just to hear people playing cricket the clinking of teacups it really does sort of signify doesn't it and give great memories of a truly English summer so well done boys to everybody out there we are grateful for what you've done and as I say also congratulations to India for putting up such a good fight maybe next time back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day the story again as I say is fascinating because as we told you recently Meghan Markle recently tried to make contact uh, with of course his majesty the king the background to this particular story as ever we have to say allegedly is the fact that you know she felt that she could repair some of the damage I know couldn't make this stuff up really could you uh, and try and get cemented back the relationship not just with her but of course with the king's youngest son Prince Harry seemingly forgetting of course that many people might suggest not me I might add that part of the problems was simply the fact that she decided to get involved on in such a higher level uh, within the British monarchy upsetting many people along the way with claims of bullying I'll leave that there on her last visit here to the United Kingdom although the King did want to speak to both of his sons uh, more in particular his youngest son Prince Harry seemingly this was going to be a boy's own celebration a boy's own meeting and Miss Markle wasn't invited guess what Prince Harry wasn't allowed to attend there's another problem but now Meghan has come up to yet another major problem in her quest to try and make amends shall we say in the loosest term and it's this man that's right as we know Major Johnny Thompson was a huge support to our late and wonderful monarch our gracious majesty the Queen Elizabeth II and for those that didn't realize he was very strategically placed behind the wayward royals at those platinum jubilee celebration service at St Paul's Cathedral even though Harry and Meghan had tried to get their seats changed at the very last minute Major Johnny was there to keep an eye on both of them and that did not go unnoticed interesting here to note also is that Major Johnny of course has now been promoted to the King's Equerry and he's popping up everywhere much to the delight of his female following around the world but it's now him that Meghan has to get through first before any decision or any allowed meeting could take place. Now you might say of course well I thought um, King Charles was available to speak to his youngest son at any time. The King is an incredibly busy man as many people realize and consequently you do have to make appointments. Yes he could be fast-tracked but for those that don't necessarily have the dial to number and let's not forget of course that Prince Harry has seemingly kept changing his mobile number on numerous occasions it's proven very hard for His Majesty the King to reach out to his youngest son but now for Meghan who's apparently told a very good source that she realizes this is going to be even harder than ever all thanks to this brand new appointment of Major Johnny Thompson as I say who was so dedicated to our wonderful late monarch you can understand now the problems that she's going to foresee and more importantly moving forward with her quest to re-ingratiate herself back with at least certain senior members of the British monarchy in time for that all-important coronation on May the 6th in 2023. Now over to you Major Johnny, will you relent? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.